Paramount recently released the third episode of the second season of Halo the TV series. And today I'm going to be providing my thoughts on the episode as a whole, while trying to keep things mostly spoiler free. That being said, we will be going into somewhat spoilery territory, so if you haven't watched the episode yet but plan to, then I'd probably check it out before you watch this video. Anyway, without wasting any more of your time, let's jump straight in. Okay, so first things first, episode 3 seems to be much more character driven than it is story driven. And for the most part, this is something that I can appreciate. The stuff that's going on with Master Chief and Silver Team reminds me a lot of Halo 5, in terms of Chief going rogue and UNSC and Oni not being very happy about it. And I don't mean this as a bad thing, in fact I'm kind of enjoying this plotline. Chief as a character, this version of him at least, still has some moments where I'm a little bit sceptical and he doesn't always feel like the character that he's supposed to be. But across the board this episode shows huge improvements in his character and he's come a long way from being the whiny man-child he was in Season 1. In fact, for the most part, I actually find myself rooting for him now, which is something I couldn't say about the Season 1 version at all. And I know they are the same character, but you can really tell that there is a difference in writing and directing, just based on the way that the character acts. He has seen a ton of development in just a short period of time, and he really does seem like a shell of the former version that we had in Season 1, and that is for the best. This episode didn't really give many of the other characters time to shine. By that, I mean Chief really was the star of the show here. However, some of the others did get some decent screen time. I really enjoyed all of the stuff with Akerson. So far, I'm finding him to be a really well-written character. He sort of serves as like the human antagonist, and he's a lot of fun every time he's on screen. All of the stuff with him this episode was really well written, and his overall plotline is quite enjoyable. Even the B-plot with characters like Quan Ha felt much more engaging, and I actually found myself rooting for these characters. One person specifically who was a highlight for me this episode was the fact that we got to see more of Keys. Again, he didn't get a chance to do a ton, but I'm enjoying pretty much every second that he's there. As I've said in my last video talking about the show, he acts much more like Keys this time around. This episode had a bit of conflict build within Silver Team 2, and I do like this side of things, just seeing the spawns interact is always fun. And again, this does more to humanise them as opposed to just showing them as mindless robots. Both Kai and Riz seem to be getting quite a bit of spotlight, so I hope that Vanek gets a bit more time to shine soon. He's probably currently my favourite member of Silver Team, and he really hasn't had much time to do anything. It seems like Silver Team right now has a lot of doubt in Master Chief. I'm just saying if it was Blue Team, there wouldn't be any problems. But I think the real best part of this episode was the ending in this little speech that's given by a certain character. And this part actually got me really excited, and I cannot wait to see where they take the show in the next few episodes. The Covenants are now on reach, so I think it's safe to say things are going to get pretty interesting. Overall, from a character point of view, this may have been the best episode yet. I'm really enjoying a lot of the developments that a lot of the characters are getting, and although technically from a story point of view, not a ton happened, you could make the argument that this is a bit more of a filler episode, but I would say it was extremely important for the development of Silver Team, of Master Chief, for Akerson, and it's definitely going to have a lot of importance for the rest of the season going forward. It seems like they're trying their best to wrap up everything from Season 1, so they can start to make an adaptation that feels much more faithful to the games, and just seeing little snippets of this throughout the last couple of episodes. And I reckon if the show is renewed for a Season 3, when they finally get to the ring, it's going to start to feel much more like Halo. I am very intrigued to see where the rest of the season is headed. Right now, I wouldn't say that the show is amazing by any means, but it's getting pretty good. Again, I should clarify, I say this as someone who really did not enjoy the first season whatsoever, but I also say it as someone who's a huge fan of the series and wants it to be better. Anyway, for today, I'm going to wrap things up there. I'll, of course, cover the next episode when it releases, and I am sorry that this video feels a bit more rambly. I am also just using this as an outlet for my thoughts on the episodes. I'm trying to do my best to keep things spoiler free, but I know I am dipping into spoiler territory with some of the stuff I say. When the entire season's out, I'm going to do a whole like review slash analysis thing, maybe. But anyway, that's all for me today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.